is a terrible, terrible loss. We were so close. There were some questionable calls, I don't know, but Spain's a good team. Spain's a really good team, and I think they deserve to win the whole thing. Auf geht's Deutschland! This is Fan First Network. The host Germany eliminated, unfortunately. No, to... I'm not feeling very good right now. Um, tell me how you're feeling. Um, I'm super disappointed. Not with our, not with our players. Not with the way we played. We played our best. We gave our best. But I was hoping we could have gone a little further. Honestly, we knew that this was going to be a really, really, really fucking tough match. And honestly, now I pray that. Uh, Spain wins because if Spain wins, that's just a disgrace to. If Spain doesn't win, that's a disgrace to fucking Germany now. Well, it was a great game. It was an absolute smacker. Uh, both teams played incredibly well. A yeah. uh, couple, couple calls here and there that uh, made the difference. Uh, you know, I think I think the refereeing was a little questionable on both sides. Uh -huh. uh, I, I would say that maybe we we uh, we got the shorter end of the refereeing stick a little bit, but uh, I mean. I think as a German soccer fan, a German football fan, I'm really proud of what we've accomplished, uh, the steps we've taken. Maybe there were some questionable calls, I don't know, but Spain's a good team. Spain's a really good team, and I think they deserve to win the whole thing if they end up going end up going that way. But um, it just sucks to lose a big game like this, you know, at home. But it is what it is. This was kind of the finals, and whoever's winning this match was going to win the rest of the Euros. So I wish the best of luck to the rest of the team, and I wish the best of luck to Spain because... They played well, they put up a good match. The 60 minutes to 90, we, Spain was playing bad and Germany so good and that's why they scored the one, the tie. This is the new era of German football, yeah. this is a whole new team. Do you feel differently about this team now than you did at the start of the tournament? Yeah, I mean the one thing that we have now that we, we that's slowly been eroding over the last 10 years is hope. Yeah. We have hope, we have Thank faith. You. Um, you know, when we scored that, uh, that late goal to tie it up, that gave us um, it gave us something to buoy our emotions on for the next tournament and for and for the next generation. Um, a lot better. I mean, I, I think at the end of the day, you know, obviously two years from now, there's going to be some guys that probably won't be on the squad that were here today. But guys that are pretty young now will even be more further developed in two years and, and, and so on and so forth. And I do have a lot of confidence for the future. From since I've been born, this is one of the most talented teams. And I hope that um, we keep this up, we put it into the Euros, the next Euros, we put it into the next World Cup. I hope to see this, see Germany grow, I hope to see it do better. I like Germany's future, I think they've got a, a bunch of young good players that are going to, you know, pro provide, you know, many, many further, hopefully further um, outcomes than today. Yeah. And we'll just have to see how it goes in uh, 2026. Get one last thought from you. Just. A note on what this German team is and what this German team was during this tournament and what it was like Germany hosting. I mean, I think Germany is an amazing host, to be honest. I've seen so many great videos on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook of just the vibes of, of the whole fan base together and just seeing, you know, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about having that, that vibe, you know, between different fan bases. Everyone kind of gets along at the same time. I mean, of course, there's going to be some drama. You know, people are going to be upset. People are going to cry. People are going to be happy. But at the end of the day, Germany's been a great host. Yeah. And I think uh, they've set a good, you know, they, they've set a good foundation for what a true uh, World Cup or Euro Cup host should be like. This was a, a fantastic uh, showing, a fantastic I wouldn't even say a step, it was like two or three steps towards yes. uh, going deep into tournaments again. And that's something that, you know, when you go deep into tournaments, anything can happen, right? Ball bounces here, ball bounces there, you a call this way, a call that way. Uh, but you have to put yourself in those types of positions and, and uh, I think we're there again. I'm proud of the boys that fought for our team and I'm just, I hope the next, next time we can prove ourselves even more because I know we can do it. Yeah. It's just today we couldn't and we knew that this was going to be a tough game, so... Hey. Okay, so this is Fan First Network. We're Sud Curve at Toronto. <laughs> Make sure you guys are coming out to watch Bayern games. These guys are amazing. They've been amazing the whole time. Thank you so much for having Thanks. us. Thanks for being here. Pleasure. Take Thanks, care. man.